A big reason why people don't declutter is because they don't have time. However, in today's video, I want to show you that you can make a big difference when you just declutter your home in 10 minutes. So today, I'm at my parents' house. We're in the kitchen, I'm going to declutter. Got some stuff up here. More random things for cooking. And this was filled with spices. I started taking some out. But you get the idea. These were all in there. Let's see if anything's empty or expired. Like this is no longer good, obviously. So let's see what we can do. Decluttering your home does not have to take an entire day. For those of you that are super busy moms, parents, grandparents, sisters, brothers, whatever you have going on in your life, you feel like you don't have time to declutter, but I'm here to show you that it is possible and you can make a difference in just 10 minutes. In this particular day, my sister was at work, so me and my mom watched my nephew while she's working and during this time it was his nap time so my mom went to put him to sleep and while she was doing that i got started with the cabinet in the kitchen starting to take everything out and going through everything one by one and seeing what we can toss out and what we want to keep It had been quite some time since my mom went through this cabinet and took a look at everything that she had in there. A lot of the things she didn't know she still had. There were some spices she didn't know she had either. So it's always good to every once in a while when you have the time to go through your space and just take inventory of what you have and see if there's anything that you can use up or declutter if you don't want to use it anymore. This is kind of hard to do with just one hand. Obviously, when you're doing this in your home, you're not holding a camera, but I'm just taking everything out and then placing it on to the stove and then going to wipe everything down so that we can have a clear and clean space. So here are all the spices. These ones on the left side are all the ones we're keeping. And then the ones on this right side are all expired or old. So those are going to be tossed out. Now I'm trying to organize the spices that are very similar together. So that way when my mom needs the spices, she can see what she has clearly and they're all sitting here ready for her to use. One of my strategies is that for the duplicate items, I'm putting them together, but I'm putting the one that has the least amount in the bottle towards the front so that when my mom uses the items, she can use up the one that's in the front first. That way she can use that up and then she can start fresh with the next spice behind it. Here in this one is just a bunch of random ingredients that she uses for cooking and so a lot of these things um, I'm not really sure if they're expired or not so I'm just going to take everything out and when my mom has a minute she can come and take a look at everything see what she wants to get rid of and what she wants to keep so there's a ton of stuff in here I'm gonna take it all out and set it on the stove. Welcome to another 
another day of playful. It looks like this top shelf is being used to store some miscellaneous items. So same thing, just going to take everything out. And then she's going to go through it and see what she wants to keep and what she doesn't want to keep. So while we were doing the cabinet, we decided to go through all of the cooking utensils. This is my mom who is camera shy, but she is going through every single thing in here one by one and seeing what she wants to keep and what she wants to let go. By this time, the baby was asleep, so my mom doesn't have too much time until he starts moving around. So she came here and went through all the utensils and the spices and went through everything one by one and let me know what she wanted to keep and what she was ready to let go. I hope from this video that you guys can see that it does not require a whole day to declutter your home. You can just take 10 minutes out of your day, go through a small space or section of your home and start decluttering and you want to pick a space that has less sentimental value so something like the kitchen is a great place to start if you're having trouble with decluttering. This cute utensil holder was at the very top of the shelf with all those extra appliances and my mom had been meaning to use it but she just forgot about it because it was just sitting back there hidden and when I took everything out she was like oh my gosh I totally forgot about that I've been wanting to use that to hold all my, my utensils and so we finally did that we got rid of the old utensil holder and now we're placing everything that she wants to keep in here. I don't know how long she's had that sitting in there, but she was pretty happy that she can finally use it and made that time to go through everything and just make her space a little bit better and easier to use. So we are decluttering this utensil holder with these utensils and then some seasonings and other spices for cooking are going in the trash. This is before with the old utensils and the utensil holder and other miscellaneous items like oils and salt that was sitting on the counter. Since we have more space now, we moved that into the cabinet, so that's sitting there. And now on the bottom, we just have the oils 
and the utensils. So everything looks so much better, so much cleaner. I love how it turned out. And most importantly, my mom likes how it turned out since she's the one that cooks in this kitchen. Thank you for watching this quick 10 minute decluttering video. I hope you guys found this motivating and now you can tackle your own kitchen cabinet or other space in your home. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so yet and I'll see you guys very soon.